So in this question, we're going to use the uh, facility, the calculator, to work out inverse normals. In other words, you're given a probability and asked to find a number. Or in this case, it's a percentage that you've been given and you've been asked to find a number from it. But it starts with sketching the distribution, so let's again do that. Remember the magic five numbers we should be able to put down here. And remember that the bell-shaped curve has the mean in the middle, so that's 250. Two standard deviations to the right will give us uh, 36 onto that will be 286. This will be 268. Uh, minus two standard deviations will give us 214. And that will give us 232. And remember, roughly speaking, we're looking at 95% of the distribution within those dotted lines. Okay, first thing says 40% of the distribution is below X. So let's sketch what that would look like. 40%, well, if you draw the normal curve, 50% is below the mean. So 40% is somewhere around about there. So it's a number less than 250. So that's x. We want to find x. And to do that, we use um, inverse normal. So I think that's inverse normal. Let's try that properly. I think we're looking at inverse normal. Anyway, let's find it. Come over to statistics, execute, and we're already in it there. I exit that, take you through it. It's distribution, normal, inverse normal. There we go. Okay, so in this case, what's the information we have? Well, clearly you can see from the diagram that the area we're interested in is in the left-hand part of the diagram. And the actual area we've been given is 40%. Well, 40% is equal to 0.4. So let's put that in. And again, make sure you help the examiner understand what you're doing. The standard deviation is 18 and the mean is 250 already in there just repeat the process okay tell the examiner what you've done so we need to tell the examiner that the tail is left that the area is 0.4 you have to make the effort to explain what's on your calculator the examiner cannot view the procedure you've just done okay and now i think if you press execute it should tell you what x is and in fact, it says, yes, the X inverse is equal to 245.4. And you should just take one last look at it and think, does that make sense? We thought it would be under the mean. It is indeed under the mean. OK, the last second question is 80% of the distribution lies between two figures, P and Q. All right, well, this, this it's not mentioned in this example, but these are um, symmetrical about the mean so you can be pretty certain that the two figures you're looking for can be drawn in this way obviously you could fix all sorts of different points but they're symmetrical about the mean on the calculator so we're looking for p and q and we need this area to be 80 percent or 0 0.8 so let's put this information down on the calculator first thing we need to do is tail what's the area we're looking at well let's go back and see what choices we've got come up here ah we could choose the central so let's choose the central the tail is that it's the central part and the probability or area in this case is equal to 0.8 and the standard deviation of mean haven't changed still make the effort 0 0.8 there standard deviation 18 the mean is equal to 250. So that means we find out what P and Q are if we come back to the calculator and press execute. And there we have it. P is equal to 226.9 and Q is equal to 273. Point, and we're going to four significant figures, so that will be one.